Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and let's talk about this bed in the 2022 Ford Maverick. I have the Ford guy here, he's gonna walk you through the demonstration, what they have going on with this bed, and why it's so innovative. You're gonna wanna watch this video if you're looking for Ford Maverick, or if you're like a truck fan, they've done some cool stuff. Let's go and get to that video right now. Um, Jay Kistler from Vehicle Engineering. As part of our static flex bed display, we have three trucks. Um, the first truck is representing um, a unit that comes more equipped from the factory. So this customer has optioned for a uh, Lariat trim as well as some of the options we have available here in the bed. What you'll notice is um, this particular bed has a spray-in bed liner, durable uh, and meeting built for tough requirements. The next thing in the module areas uh, on either side of the bed, <clears throat> the right side has our bedside storage cubby. That size to hold the two inch drawbar that you need for the 4K towing, as well as um, coiled up jumper cables or a two liter bottle of pop. On the left side, we have a perfectly symmetrical um, eight inch by eight inch module area. And this trim series comes with the LED light as well as the 120 volt wall outlet, which has a 400 watt capacity. From a tie down perspective, we knew it was really important to have upper and lower tie downs at both the rear and the front of the bed. So you'll see you have these two here. You have a front lower floor tie down. And then this option comes with the extruded aluminum rail, which makes your uppermost tie down this adjustable cleat that you can use to suit your suit your use case. The last thing we want to highlight here, we just have a simple soft tonneau with us today. Um, but on Ford.com, we have soft tonneau, hard hard tonneau roll up, as well as trifold, and all the different racks and bars that go cross truck. We're just showing here that those uh, clamp onto the reinforced bedside exactly like you'd see uh, on the larger mid-size and full-size units. Okay. We'll move on. Oh, we got the bottle opener too, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. We have uh, all trucks have two tie downs on either side of the tailgate, tie down and bottle opener. Um, come standard. Okay. All right. You got to get the, you got to get the bottle opener. I mean, you got to get that bulk cold Indeed. beer. It's just you got to have it. We have, root, we have root beers. We have root beers. <laughs> There's different versions of beer. <laughs> um, so this truck, <clears throat> this is this is the story where the, the truck is less equipped from the factory, but the customer wants to do some of these projects themselves. So the first example we really like is if the customer wants to go mountain biking or biking, we make available um, bike rack accessories. So we have an accessory just like this that reaches across the bed you can clamp down the forks um, but also if you go to the flexbed QR code website to discover your Maverick we'll show the customer uh, via video exactly what to buy and how to build a DIY bike rack um, of this style for about 40 bucks total so we really want to enable making available that high-end accessory that can get the job done while in parallel showing the customer how they can build it themselves and you just slide it into the sheet metal slot and the project is done. Um, a slightly more advanced version of that we also make available on 100% of trucks standard we have what we call our EDIY uh, circuit so on both the left and the right D pillars we have a dedicatedly fused 12 volt circuit so what you'll find on your truck from the factory is this cap that says 12 volt DC part of our flex bed system and on the back of the cap you'll have this circuit which is dedicatedly fused 20 amp in all glove boxes, we give what we call the universal adapter harness, which is the male connector and a five foot lead. And you can use that. We've enabled easy routing to the module area next door, as well as up the D pillar to the bedside. What we've done on this particular truck with parts from the local auto, auto store is we've done, we got some blue LEDs. This took about 10 minutes to uh, plug into the standard equipped 12 volt, put blue, put blue LEDs in a little switch like so. So again, that synergy with, we looked at the high, highly equipped truck with the LED light and the outlet, 
this is that e-diy equivalent of doing similar projects yourself mm -hmm. and in this one you've changed the bed height too because you've you've moved the hook up here up higher absolutely so there's two spots for that so this kind of extends the short bed but it gives you a nice spot for this so you don't, you're having an angle here keeping stuff in the bed absolutely i'll demonstrate so how does, does that just pull out? Yeah, so this is what we call our multi-position tailgate, <clears throat> standard on all trucks. When you get your truck, it'll be in this condition. Right. Tailgate is flush as you'd expect. What you can do, lift the tailgate like so, and then we modified this just to have a simple tab. You can undo the engagement, pop it off the main pivot, and then move the cable end up to the latch striker like so and then the tailgate's held open at the intermediate position. Okay. It's a simple and elegant solution. Um, the tip of this is perfectly aligned with the top of the, the height of the wheel wells. That enables you to carry four foot by eight foot sheet good, or in a case like this, it just enables that extra length for the bike tires. Okay, okay. And then we have one more over here. Yep, absolutely. So this truck, <clears throat> this is showing a, a moment in time, uh, Taking, taking the kids to sports practice. Um, what you'll notice again is the customer has cut some boards to length to create um, a, a divided bed from a height perspective. You can see these two by fours reaching across the bedsides. Also a two by six has been cut and slid into the slot to be a divider. Um, we are gonna offer, or we do offer a bed divider accessory as part of optional content. Alternatively, you can cut the two by six to length and just slide it in. Um, there's really, it's important to note that um, each of these slots and features and enablements was optimized for customer use. So this divider, as a simple example, has been thought out. Um, this cargo, which is retained between the divider and the tailgate, is, in, is within arm's reach of the fifth percentile female. And then this cargo forward of the divider, balls that have escaped from the bag, etc., can't slide out the back when the tailgate's opened. Yeah, and one of the things that I noticed was how easy it is to get in the bed. So how tall are you? 6'1". You're 6'1". Can you reach this ball? Yeah, so I mean, he's in the middle of the bed. He's not tippy-toe, standing next to the bed. Well, he was a little tippy-toe, but uh, <laughs> ignore that part. But no, I mean, so but the, the thing is, like many trucks, you can't reach in the bed. You can't, I mean, you're going to open the tailgate. You're going to have the, you have the step to get in. You yep. have to do those things. But with this truck, you can make the bed, you can make the bed kind of more usable space in that you can have the inserts for cutting two by fours, two by sixes, and you can reach everything. Right. Which is just critical. Because I'm telling you, I've, I've driven trucks for years, and right here, I'm going to show you right here. That right there is Bermuda's Triangle. Everything you want in your truck at some point will slide up to that front of the bed, and you'd be damned to get that out because it's just, it goes in that one spot. I don't know what it is. It's right. like a magnet up there. But in this case, you actually reach in and grab that without having a call on the bed, walk up there, go get it. Or actually, I, a lot of times I've taken a long broom. Brooms my friend to retrieve. <laughs> and retrieve. When we did, yeah. when we did customer research early on, we um, for the Maverick, we expect a really uh, cross demographic mix of folks, um, uh, folks who are new to new to new to new vehicles and new to trucks. And we heard from a lot of customers concern or experiences about sports equipment, hockey bags, etc., sliding forward mm -hmm. and being unable to be retrieved, which is an intimidating experience. So the thought that went into these divider positions and how we can retain the cargo within arm's reach, specifically for the fifth percentile female, was accounted for in all these features. Yeah, and I think one of the things that I see a lot in the country is I see a lot of these two by sixes in the back of the beds of trucks because what they do, they take the tailgate off or it got stolen or got damaged, and then they put this two by four down. That way, if they want to haul something and just have it hang over the bed, take two by four out, you're done, or you do whatever. So farmers have been doing this already. It's just taking that same ingenuity and making the slots available, making it just, well, making it work better. They're already doing it. And sharing with the customer how to do it. Right. Some of these some of these examples are quite simple. You know, cut cut the wood to length, put it in the slot. But the fact that we want Ford and the new Maverick to be part of that experience for customers, we want to share that news with customers. And well, uh, but also the fact that you give us instructions how far to cut it. Right. Because right. um 
I don't know about you, but I always cut wood a little bit too tight. <laughs> and then I have a hammer. Or and too short. The, too short. Loose. Right? I, just, <laughs> I just can't. I don't know what it is. Man, I, I am not, I'm on YouTube. That is not a carpenter. I'm not that dude. So, but well, very cool. Thank you, sir. So, sure. Oh, and one, one oh, more thing yeah, on this thing. truck. Let's check it out. Um, so on the... Oh, I see we have different hooks. Yeah, yeah. On, that, on the fully equipped truck we looked at first, we saw the uh, aluminum bedside rail that we have as optional content. Another one of the projects we have on the site is um, how to do your own DIY rail. Okay. So you can go to local home improvement store, get a steel strut like so, and you can bolt it to the bedside. The yep. reinforced weld nuts are standard, and you can create the DIY equivalent of what we saw on the fully equipped truck. Are those pre-drilled holes or are they not pre-drilled? They are uh, threaded weld nuts. Okay. Reinforced so, threaded weld nuts to meet the built for tough pull-out standard. Yep, so you just line up your, your bolt with that and screw it in. That's it. No. You know the problem with that. What's that? It's too simple. Somebody's gonna <laughs> screw that up. That always happens. So hey, thanks for watching. Check the video out over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you right. down the road. Yeah.